Hi, this is Erica with the Southwest Vermont Chamber of Commerce. I wanted to walk through our website with you and more importantly, your listing on our website. As a chamber member, you are automatically included on our website, which is great because our website gets thousands of visitors to it. Anyone who's coming into the region um, can find so much valuable information for their travel to the area, but also local people who are looking for our members come here to find information such as address, hours of operation, phone number, um, if you have a website. So it's very important that you take the time to look at your listing to make sure that it is up to date. And I would recommend doing this quarterly. Um, maybe you have a contact person in your membership information page that no longer works for you or has changed positions. So very important to always check on this. I'd like to send out reminders quarterly. So working together, we can make sure that your listing is the most up-to-date and accurate for people trying to find you. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna go to the directory and here we go. Here you can see there are many different ways for an individual to find your business. If they know the business name, they can quickly just type it out here and find you. Um, if they don't know the business name, but they're like, oh, I remember it began with an A or B, whatever, they could click under the B and find you that way. Um, if that is not what they're looking for and they're just coming to the area, they don't know who they're looking for because they don't know the area and they are just, they need a place to stay or they want a place to eat or what is there to do? They would click under these tabs to find you. And if you notice, this page and all of our pages are not in any alphabetical order. This is designed on purpose to help all of our members be seen equally, because if somebody's business begins with an A, they are always at the top, and conversely, if they begin with a Z, they are always at the bottom. So this page randomly populates every time somebody clicks on it. You will never see the same lineup when you go back. Um, and again, that is designed to give everyone a fair shake. So, um, you can notice that on some of these listings, I have no logo or photo, and others it's tiny. This individual has given us a photo to use. It is as large as it can get for our page, um, but this person needs to update and send me a new logo or image that can be put in place and would be larger. And then again, you see some that haven't provided me with an image or a logo. Uploading an image or logo to your listing is one thing that I do have to do. That is not something that you individually can do. So you do have to send that to me. So let's just look at the Southern Vermont Natural History Museum. They have given us their address, their phone number, and their website. You want to make sure that the information that is provided for your website is accurate. So I always say, look at your listing, click on that visit website and make sure it goes to your website. If not, that is something that you can change. And how do you change that? You change that by going into your membership information center. You would click under membership, the drop down menu comes up and you would do member login. And from here, log into your membership profile. I'm going to log into ours. It is not going to be as complete as yours. Um, so for here you can see um, you have shortcuts to the left and you have different things here on top that you can use. Right now I'm just going to concentrate on you updating your company information and making sure that it is correct. So you would click in your company information, make sure the name is correct, your phone number is correct, email, your address. Um, 
it's great if you could put your establishment date here. That helps us to track anniversaries that are coming up. Um, and we'd like to celebrate with you. So make sure that you do that. Your billing contact information. There may be somebody who is customer service but doesn't do billing. It, we need the information for the person who should receive any bills that are populated by you. So once you change all that, you can choose to save changes. Um, additional information is your employees. Again, remember when you join, all of your employees are members. So that means all of them can join us for lunch and learns or networking nights or you know, our annual membership meeting night. So we encourage you to put in all your employees so that they can join us for anything that they may be interested in. So you would go in here if you needed to add an employee, go here, add their first name, their job title, last name, email address, so that they can start receiving our email blast and know what's going on. And then, um, if you have an employee that you would like them to have access, so you have an administrator, you don't have time to make sure that this is always updated, you can email this person that you add an invitation to set up their own login credentials to have access to this. So once you have added all the information, you would choose to save employee. Um, coming back to company, you want to check your website information. Is that up to date? Um, this is directly pulled from your organization information unless you want to overwrite it. And then you can unclick this box and add the information necessary. Do you have social networks that you would like to share on your page? Add them here. I mean, the more social media pages and ways for people to find you that you can add the better for you we also have um, make sure you're in the right category now with your listing you get one primary category be it attractions dining lodging nonprofit or faith-based or a service from there you can choose a sub um, category but this is very important for your listing in our annual visitors guide. So if you are currently, let's say a historic home that lodges people, you can either primarily be in an attraction if you allow visitors or you can be in lodging. Um, you get one category with your membership. Now we can add you to additional listings. That is of course at an additional cost because it takes up more room on our visitor's guide. Um, it creates another page for you on our website. So you can be added to other pages. It just would be at an additional cost. Um, this feature is not available. Uh, photos not available because again this is something that has to come to me to be added with your listing so um, it's not something that you can do from here and also if you have a bill you want to pay you can come here and make a payment we currently have no invoices for ourselves <laughs> so we have no payment but um, you could pay bills directly from here and most of the time when you receive a invoice from us electronically it does have a link at the bottom for you to click and come to this section to pay directly so i hope this was helpful and i like doing the videos because it gives you a chance to go back and look at them um, for the spot that you need more help with. But if you did not find the information that you were looking for on this video, please email me, Erica, E R I K A, at swvtchamber.com, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, and if there's a video on something else that you would like to see, you know, shoot me an email. Happy to make another video. Um, 
trying to make your life easy and make you as successful as possible while you are a member here of the Southwestern Vermont Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much and we'll talk soon.